Of course, it's been a month now, just about that, since Spartanburg saw its own tornado. We sent our own Henry Coburn to check up and see how the recovery's going. Friday will mark one month since the tornado swept through Spartanburg, and as you can see by the scene behind me, cleanup is still ongoing. We just hid in the closet. <laughs> Alice Hatcher Henderson was with her husband Don when the February tornado hit. She says when the storm hit, she was thinking about three things. The first was... I hope our trees don't go down. And the second minute was, oh, I hope that our roof and house don't fall apart. And the third minute was, I hope we survive. And thankfully they did, but the tornado downed trees and wrecked their roof. And your roof right now is held up by this big old stick. Huh? Yeah, we just stuck it in. The Henderson situation is not unique. Across Spartanburg, many homes were damaged and many families were displaced. The United Way of the Piedmont says they have helped more than 110 families affected by the storm. Some cases were food and clothing donations. Um, in other cases, it's people whose house is unsafe, uninhabitable. The renovations are going to take a really, repairs are going to take a really long time. And so they've decided that they're just going to relocate. And when you visit neighborhoods hit the hardest by February's tornado, the damage still looks fresh. Some Spartanburg residents have been living in hotels for nearly a month now. But others, like Alice and Dawn, are home now, picking up the pieces and finding silver linings even to funnel clouds. There, there were trees down on the house, but the important thing, I thought, is we needed a new roof anyway, and now the insurance will pay for it. <laughs> now, cleanup crews I spoke with today were unwilling to go on camera with me, but they did say they expect the tornado cleanup in Spartanburg to take several weeks longer, maybe even months longer. In Spartanburg, Henry Coburn, 7 News.